How are you doing guys? Welcome back. I have breath. I've been moving some uh, postscript for this week's uh, uh, job. I am. This, but then watch this. This will be the um, second week into Scotland's uh, lockdown. So, so what have I done? I'm building a, a setup for my strawberry plants. Um, everyone, everyone remember that game? Showing my age here, obviously. Uh, it's from my age. Uh, Donkey Kong, where by the big monkeys at the top and Mario's like walk up uh, the scaffolding and the, the monkey kind of froze or Donkey Kong froze his barrel and it rolls down uh, by five or six um, levels well it's the same kind of construction here I'm using as you can see I've dug holes for three post and then what I'm going to do is I'll put a beam horizontally but with a slight decline and construct it like Donkey Kong's wee ramp and in it I plant strawberries into them so what I've done is I've managed to recycle some 2x4 beams I'll move that away for you and at the bottom just to give it some sort of weather protection uh, I bought these stop it These um, roof lining, bitumen linings, which I bought from Liddles, they're cheap. Uh, I think it's a couple of pounds at that time. So I, I wrapped around the base of it to give it some sort of, of um, weather protection. And what I'll probably do is up above the cement area, I'll paint some creoles at the top. Um, so that's what I'll do. And all we'll do is now plunk it into the, the holes. Phase one done, just let it set for phase two. So what I've done here is uh, already marked out where the gutter's gonna go. As you can see in the distance it should go a slight slope down that way and then the next row will go that way. Like, like I said, like a Donkey Kong kind of effect. And the reason for this is when the water goes on to the top and it's too much, it flows down. It should hopefully dribble onto the next row and um, keep it from being waterlogged. So now I'll attach the gutter.
Right, as you can see, water runs down, down a wee bit, and should drop on to the next level and so forth, and it should um, keep the roots from um, waterlogged. Um, the only reason I would not put two there is because um, the shop had uh, run out of the end caps. And the reason for the end caps, I, I suppose I could just use um, duct tape, but uh, duct tape tends to fall off now and then with too much water, so I'm using this. What I do is I drill a hole there, just big enough for it to fall down and so forth. So I'll complete this task once. Uh, once the, 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 the place has it more, it has more in stock, sorry, um, my mouth is getting dry. Um, so what I'm going to do now is basically fill up each layer. Again, it's general purpose compost, it's the uh, rich moor um, with cocoa water in it just to break it up. I'm not going to fill this one up, I'm not going to fill that one up until I get the wee end caps onto it, so... Um. Right, there's strawberries here, um, and I generally like to plant strawberries in pears because it looks better when it starts to fruit. Hey, have a guys. Strawberries on the gutter. Like I said, I'll draw a hold right there and uh, when that completes it, I need to get some more strawberries. Um, I do have some down there, but I think those are al alpine ones, which are tiny. Um, they don't re produce big ones, so. Um, but uh, looks good. What I'm going to do as well. I might just put a, a cross section at the top here uh, and thereafter I can put a net over it for once it starts fruiting but uh, yeah, quite proud of that, quite good, liking it 
what this used to be was the original strawberry bed which didn't quite work out uh, didn't like it too many weeds growing through probably because I neglected it but uh, I think this is a better idea I'll let the strawberries droop over uh, hopefully the slugs can't get at it as well I'll probably use some copper tape at the bottom to uh, prevent the, the slugs from crawling up um, but what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to utilize this bed for growing garlic and outside and then slightly inner I'll get some peas um, monge too or something like that growing through or growing up should I say um, I've got these hooks top and bottom and what I'll do is I'll stretch a a wire across each side that means I can put up some sort of netting at the top plastic netting or something uh, for the the peas or beans to, to grow up it so it'll be a maybe a three or four different type of fruit and veg growing in this section right um, I managed to salvage a bean net from a previous project um, it's got a couple of wee rips in it but it's fine I can, I can still use it um, the beans will travel up the trellis without any problem got these little um, plastic tags from the pound shop um, it's okay uh, it's usable it's not the most uh, durable but it's fine um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, feed the, the net over to these wire I would have threaded it through however just in case there was problems later I can always bring it down without any problem at the same time I could probably sniff it off but you know, easy this way I suppose um, so it's very fidgety to unravel and uh, it catches everywhere as you probably know Obviously, the best thing to do when you put the net up, the easiest way is to organise your horizontal and vertical so your net's kind of in position to tie it in between. That's it! Ready for the uh, beans to climb up. I can probably like cut away some of these bits but I'll just probably get some cable ties or more things just to tie it in just to tidy it up but uh, we've got it there so it just hangs just nicely I might just put a wee string and a cable from there down to the, the bottom just to give it the middle support seems quite flimsy at the middle but uh, that's how you do it this will be a three in one bed well hopefully you will uh, enjoy that uh, wee video on how to uh, utilize as much space as possible and I hope you give it a wee try so yes I have Galcore in there um, which I transplanted from the polytunnel the beans are going there as you can see the strawberries are going there 
Um, in fact, it could be a foam one, and I might put in a, a, another a uh, couple more rows of gutter for strawberries and a bottom I might have some more kind of hair plants which doesn't require a lot of rooting space so yeah hope you enjoyed a wee quick video and how to utilize small spaces um, and give it a go thanks for watching stay safe bye for now